Hello everyone, my name is Gretchen Oris Chong and welcome to Easy Simple MailChimp Automation. All right, so let's uh, first go through a brief intro of MailChimp and why I love it. So first, I love it because it's such a fun, easy tool to use. Um, the free tier is amazing. You can have like 2,000 subscribers before you start paying. And even then, the next level up is very cheap at $10, I believe. And basically, it's great for beginners now that automation is free. I do love all the templates, how easy it is to make your emails look good, um, which is great for branding and everything. Um, so now, why do you want to set up your automation? Okay, so you want to set it up just so basically any subscriber that comes in goes into an email sequence. And you might ask, what's an email sequence? So an email sequence pretty much educates, nurtures your subscribers and warm, they, it warms them up to you and what you have to offer. So automation helps market for you while you sleep. Okay, <laughs> so let's get started. But first, you need to write your email sequence. If you don't have one yet, you can find swipe files and templates to model for inspiration. For instance, on here, I have airstory.co. It's an app that I'm really loving right now. I found it on AppSumo and I just think that it's super amazing. You have all the templates right here. Okay, so all I need to do is type email and it gives me a bunch of templates. So um, for instance, you wanna add, let's try adding this to our uh, project, which is the email indoctrination sequence project that I created for this tutorial. Okay. And I think it added the template how to, okay, right here. And then you get to see all of these cards that you can use for your um, email sequence. So basically, this is it right here. Um, it's super amazing because all you need to do is drag one of these into here. And now you've got a template. And all you need to do is fill it out. Um, and away you go, okay? So one thing to remember if you're a beginner is just start small and don't overcomplicate. Try to keep your emails really short because people have low attention span these days. Um, so you can use swipe files and templates to model for inspiration. I myself find that when I use swipe files, I end up writing like a whole novel. So. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to start using the templates from AirStory. Okay, so now that you've got your email sequence, or once you've written it, the next thing you need is a MailChimp account and a list. So I'm going to assume that because you're here learning about MailChimp automation and because I want to keep the video really short, um, I'm going to assume you have these two prerequisites right here. Otherwise, Keep an eye out, I'll create a different video for that. Okay, so now let's go to the main subject of our tutorial, and that's MailChimp automation. So I'm gonna go to my other MailChimp account right here, okay? I just use this for labs and testing. Um, so I clicked on automation after logging in, all right? So what you need to do is basically type welcome. We want to look for a template. So as I said here, start with an automation template. And you might be wondering why I don't want to use a template. Basically, with any platform, whether it's a website platform or a design platform or Anything like that, I love starting with templates because it allows me to see exactly how to use a tool or a platform, right? Um, 
it basically cuts the learning curve in half for me. I'm not sure if you're more into the learning everything from a tutorial uh, sort of uh, learning capability, but for me, I always love just jumping in and then figuring things out as I go. And this is what I suggest if you think that in the past you've learned faster by execution than by uh, reading or um, watching tutorials. This is what I recommend. Start with a welcome series. So what I would recommend here is um, you can start with a welcome message as well. So we're just going to go with that because it kicks off when some subscribers join your list. Okay, so welcome message is the name of the template, so we'll just go and click that one. All right, and let's go to our checklist. Uh, second is check the trigger, okay? So you wanna make sure that it's sending out to the right list. Obviously, I don't have any on there yet because this is a lab account. And on the trigger, you can elect choose immediately. That way it kicks off when somebody subscribes. Now, maybe if you've set up your list before and you've enabled the welcome email, um, you can then uh, start this a day after, but I've signed up for uh, some influencers that I respect and they sometimes send me two emails immediately and I don't mind that at all. So it's totally up to you and what your audience likes, you know, to, to receive from you. Um, so basically, your welcome email could have your downloads on there and then um, this automation could have pretty much an intro about you and what you do. So you can put them all in this first email right here, or the other option is to have them in two separate emails, especially if it's getting too long, then you might want to have um, two different ones. All right, so what's our next step? Okay, choose a simple email theme. Okay, so we're gonna go and click design email. All right. And I just want to say, I want to call this welcome email. Okay, let's look at the template that we have on here, see if it has a subject. Okay, so we'll just copy that. All right, that's actually a pretty funny subject line. Okay, um, so now that we're here, we're just gonna go and choose a very simple template, okay? I like to just go with simple text. No need to complicate things, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so now we just have this and you might wanna add an image right there. Okay, and we're just going to upload one of the images that I have here. All right, so now that you have this, you want to just, um, maybe you can set up the greeting right here. Hello. First name. Okay. And then you want to just copy okay. Copy that and paste that one over here. Okay, so now that's a super simple email template. And now you want to preview. Okay. On mobile, it looks pretty good. Desktop, it's over on the left a little bit, but um, that's fine. You can change that up later if you want to change the template. So you want to go save and continue. And there we have it. 
So when you want to add another email, check the trigger again. Um, the, the default is one day. If you think that's too frequent, you can edit the trigger and type two days. Okay, then you want to update that. Also, if you don't want this sending out during the weekend, you can click edit the schedule and just untick Saturday and Sunday. Or you can even untick the other days because I believe the best days are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So you can set that up if you like. Okay, and then you can set up times here as well specific time or a specific uh, range of time. So I'm just going to click cancel because I like to just leave it on its own. Um, you can also edit segments right here. Say you're, you have a, a segment or you've created some segments in your list. For instance, one is customers, the other one is subscribers, something like that. Um, you can set that up here as well. Personally, I don't use it. I just like to keep things simple um, since I'm just starting out and I don't have like 10,000 subscribers yet. So um, I'm just keeping it as is. And then action, you can edit the action as well. And basically, you know, create like a field on here. Like you can delete them from the list or unsubscribe from the list and all that after sending the action if you like uh, after sending this email if you like but we're just going to leave that alone as well i don't want to do any of that um, so we're just going to go and click design email for our next email all right and let's see if there's a second one nope okay so we'll go and choose Another one here, for instance. Let's see what that gives us. All right, so I'm gonna check that. Okay, free offer. Again, this is just basically like a brief outline of of the emails. That's um, that's the one that's from one of these cards in Air Story. So you can just type it out later if you like. And then you can also choose. If you think this was too simple earlier, um, you can then choose something like this. And on your emails, it's always good to have like a little button right there. You want to have a nice call to action. So we'll just delete this, delete that, delete that, delete. Okay. Now again, we're just going to replace that with a header. And then again, you just want to say dear first name. Okay. And then just paste your free offer here. Okay, so it could be a free offer or maybe a free resource, you can do that, or a free group, like so, so you can go, that's like the short link to my group, and then join my free Facebook group, and they're super, um, Facebook groups are super hot right now, so you can change your color right there. All you need to do is change your font make and color to make sure they're all the same across the board and that gives you brand continuity as well. Just a little tip on branding. Okay, so save and continue. And there we are. So now that you have all your emails set up right there, you can add new emails um, depending on how long the sequence you want um, it to be. Um, basically, I think the norm is like five emails, okay? So, just gonna go click next. 
all right so sometimes when you click next you might get this uh, error message so you want to click on that and see what's going on all right so apparently there's a placeholder that we haven't removed which is kind of nice that they reminded us <laughs> so I'm gonna go in So I'm not sure exactly what it is they're referring to, but I think this might be it. Because I don't see anything else. Maybe that one. Okay. Alright, so... Also, before I forget, you can save the template if you're happy with it. Um, Welcome email series template. Okay. And now save and continue. So let's see if it lets me do this. Okay, great. All right, so now that we have all of that, you can send a test email before you start the workflow. So you have the option to send all of the emails to a specific email address, or you can, oops, or you can send all the emails. That way you can see which format you like best, and then maybe go back and change the template on the first email sequence that, or uh, the first email in the sequence that we created, or vice versa. So it's up to you. So I like to test um, two templates and then view it on my phone and everything and test them out. So I'm going to send the test now. Okay. And it should be in my email. So what, once I check my email and I'm happy with it, all I, all I need to do is click Start Workflow. Okay. And you can either do that or if you, if something came up, like, what normally happens in business, right? <laughs> you can just save and exit and say exit without starting. And there you have it. It's still in edit mode as indicated by the pen tool right here. Okay. So if you want to launch it, let's see if there's an action here. Nope. Okay, so you want to click edit, click next, start workflow, and once you've looked over everything, proofread everything, but don't go too crazy, just click start workflow, and there you have it. I just love Freddy the Chimp with all these graphics and everything, so that's why I love MailChimp. The user experience is really good. All right, so there we have it. Now you can add subscribers to your automation um, by going here, add subscribers to workflow, or you can just wait till somebody signs up and then and then basically that's pretty much it. You can test it out as well, sign up yourself and make sure that the schedule is correct and that everything's going smoothly. Right, so I hope that was super helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, just send an email to me or any comments, send it to me at gretchen at eightcorners.co. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.